Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and those who are neither wherever you are in the world. I am Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you're watching Ramblin' with Rusty, Starfield Edition. Last time on Ramblin' with Rusty, we visited Arcturus 2, where we confronted Major Hall and the last remnants of the 1st Cavalry Mechanized Division from the Colonial War. Unfortunately, it ended in a little bit of tragedy as we had to end the life of a man who should have been celebrated as a war hero. But he did give us some evidence incriminating one of the Council of Governors members, one of the members of the Council of Governors. So now we are here on Polvo to confront Mr. Ron Hope. So without further ado, here we go. Ron Hope's the best thing that That's very generous, Mr. Hope. It's well earned, Burkett. We set some ambitious quotas, and you met every one of them. Well, I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. Good to see you again. Well, I've just received a report from the Marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news? Did you now? Well, don't keep me in suspense. No, and I don't care for the insinuation. Oh, the, the same Paxton Hull who was court-martialed during the Colony War? Well, I've, I've never met the man, and I can't imagine why he'd make an accusation against me. I see. <laughs> I'm impressed, Deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What is going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Burgett. In fact, why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the Deputy has to say. cards are on the table. So why not? The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. Oh. <laughs> and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything, turns out our fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. Mining is expensive. And so is the cost of raw materials. My mineral enriching fertilizer solves several problems at once. The farmers provide free manual labor. And once the land is ready, we move in to extract and process the soil. 
You tricked them into poisoning their own land for your benefit. I have a business to run. I can't afford to spend a credit more than I absolutely have to, Mr. Ko. Look, I'll level with you. We're falling behind the competition. The hardworking people of this town depend on me for their livelihoods, and I won't let them down. Cutting my costs means saving their jobs. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so, so awful to innocent people, to families? Not another word out of you, Birgit. I can take your job and more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owner. You're right, of course. Uh, something must be done. I'll set up a fund to handle funeral expenses and take care of any surviving family members. <laughs> we'll do this the right way. I give you my word. You're right. Yeah. Those families deserve to be compensated for the uh, inconvenience. Hmm. Well, uh, perhaps a discount on their next purchase from Hope Tech. A coupon? I can't believe this guy. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. <clears throat> well, let's not be too hasty, deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer? Uh, I'm so very like a politician trying to pass the buck. But on a much larger scale, yes. Well, I'm afraid there's no avoiding it. The past can't be changed. But the future is very much in your hands, Deputy. You put me away, and this company will fall apart. You have destroyed far more lives than I did. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation, this company, or the people <laughs> who work for me. That means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a Free Star Ranger, are you? Careful. I think he means business. Such a shame to see a promising career cut so tragically short. Time for 
to dance. Say good night. Better we get it than someone else. to have you killed. I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries, it's so awful. I'm just a little in shock. I'm still not sure I understand what happened. A conspiracy to steal farmland? It's just so hard to believe. It's... That's not the Ron Hope I know. He never seemed that complicated to me. He always looked out for us, for his employees. I know what I just heard and saw, but... He was a friend. No. He was more like a father. And now he's... You. You killed him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to this so many true. people. I would have preferred to be able to just to take him now. in and let him serve a few years in jail. That's... that would be... Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. There's a lot of smart, hard-working people here. You'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm sorry about the pain you have to go through, Birgit. Unfortunately, sometimes people just don't want to play by the rules. And politicians often think that they're above the rules and above the law. When that happens, people get hurt. Innocent people who had no part in it. You know, I guess my biggest issue with that whole scheme with Mr. Hope is that there's tons and tons of land out there are all over the settled systems. It's uninhabited. Isn't being farmed for you're out there a lot, right? Else. In space, he could have just hired a few laborers to go out and spread his fertilizer across some un, uh, unclaimed land and just use that. If you're looking for work, man, car right might have lives. something or point you. But as a politician responsible for leading the Free Star Collective, he chose hey, to destroy people's lives. You should try Phil Burns' beer. It's brewed in the city. Good no, to see bad. you back safe, Deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Uh, it was their hideout. Your uh, guess was right on the money. It was their I day. take it that they weren't too much trouble for you, given that you're standing here. <laughs> did you find out why the first was taking over farms? I did. You're not going to like it, though. Uh, how do I want to phrase this? Uh, 
It was part of Mr. Hope's plan to save... Wait a damn minute. You're saying Ron Hope was behind this whole thing? Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. Correction, so he can make what? laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? He split farmlands. Something about enriching the soil to cut costs. Boosted soils, yes. That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. Well, I do. Uh, All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? <clears throat> Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, Anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. This is easy true, for man. you to say. You ain't the marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? <clears throat> yeah, uh, it would be an honor, and I have been ready since the start. Good. I it would be Duty an and to... honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal... I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of ranger. Thank you, Ranger Thank Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. Congratulations. You truly deserve it. Well, thank you, Sam. Uh, I'll strive to be worthy of it. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Well, well, hi, 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 hi. Hi. Ranger. Okay. As a full friend, pledge stranger, you have been granted your very own Star Eagle class warship with no registration fee required. Well, now that's interesting because I did not get that ship on my primary character when I finished this. Huh. Okay. Congratulations. The promotion's well earned. Did you get that report from Autumn yet? Want to get? Can't say I'm surprised. Paperwork ain't exactly her strong. Hogan says I spent too much time at my Neither is following the rules. He's probably right. I'm starting to wonder if we made a mistake bringing her on. Welcome to the road. Nah, I don't care that. She's got good instincts, she's fearless, and she's got important contacts in the underworld. <laughs> she's just a little rough around the edges. If you mean willful, headstrong, reckless, and unconcerned with policies and procedures, then yeah, I'll agree with you. <laughs> She's a diamond in the rough, Emma. Diego Monroe, I'm at your service. You to her well, up. theoretically. I'll do what I can, but I might need a raise. 
You and well, me. Well, hey there. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. Okay. So yep, I was done too. He's got nothing left to say. Let's see what's on the mission boards. Let's see. Ooh, we got the one wire, one riot, one ranger mission. Let's go ahead and uh, accept that. And we'll go talk to Diego over here. A ranger's work is never truly done. Well, aren't you a keen one? You've been hitting the ranger mission board hard. I gotta ask why. Most of our newly joined aren't so damn eager. Mm, you know, it, it's good paying work if you can handle it. Eh, making the settled Very a noble. safer place. Rangers don't often get types like you. You've worn the badge a while now, and still holding on to the ideal. Just so you know, every post on the board was penned by yours truly. And we caught a break. Seems some of your missions are related. Uh, a puppet master type by the name of Tawny Adams was pulling the strings. And your work is flushed around. I figure, since you did the hard work already, you deserve the honors of dealing with her for good. Mm. Well, is it an honor? Tawny Adams is a crime boss, medium level. Rewards for dealing with her type are lucrative. And also, putting people like her down is the fastest way to reduce crime. Rangers have been known to fight for assignments like this. Oh, sounds like putting her That's down. That's the hope of officers of the them. law everywhere. She'll have company, so arm her up, gear up, and uh, probably bring a friend. I'd wish you good luck, but I expect luck's got nothing to do with it. Well, thank you, Diego. Yeah. Work hard, play hard. That should be the Free Star motto. I think... We are going to go... Rescue, uh, Pillar. And... What's his name? The guy I really don't like. Then we'll go uh, you know what, what stand out for him so that Sam survives the inevitable confrontation with the uh, Star Wars. Oh, I want to take a look at this first, though. I didn't get it on my primary account. I didn't even realize it. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll call it. Supposed to go Need some work done? Sure. How about it? Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen. I've had a look at the new ship. Um, it looks pretty good, though. I'm not super overly impressed with it. I think it'll be better once I get my piloting ranked up a little more. So, for the time being, we're just going to stick with the Rail Star, and we're going to head over to Vectera. Ready to take off, Captain. Where we will catch up with Supervisor Lynn and Heller, and find out what happened to our uh, lost uh, constellation. Pester? Here. You think I'm a pest? Oh, never. Poor choice of words. You being nice to the crew, too? Of course. So this book collection fund I heard about? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to call that an episode. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm. Have a good night, and don't forget to stop and smell the roses.